our blast furnace on the cast house floor. Yeah, so operations engineer, I look after day-to-day -day, uh, general running of the plant, things like refractories management, uh, flag handling, gas safety and optimisation projects and I started as a materials engineering cadet and worked my way up. So we do day-to-day -day tasks and maintenance around the blast furnace, we fix the equipment, we monitor issues, we isolate equipment and uh, take teams through the furnace to get work done. So I'm the five blast furnace shutdown coordinator and I also control the maintenance budget spend and do our maintenance excellence tasks. As a process engineer, I look after all of the systems that keep the blast furnace running. So the cooling systems, the gas cleaning system, the stoves which preheat the air that we use in our blast furnace. I am on the core team. The, basically we maintain all the mechanical movements of the blast furnace um, from the play gun behind you to the tapping drill to the center screens and the coke screens over at the screening plant. Number 5 Blast Furnace is the only blast furnace in operation at Port Kembla Steelworks, so it supplies molten iron for our steel making process at Port Kembla. It's the heart of the iron making process here. Um, blast Furnace is a counter current process, so we put raw materials like coke and iron ore in the top and introduce reducing gases down here at the twist. So the hot blast comes in this bustle main here, goes around tweer stock and in through 28 tweers and that hot air is preheated in the stoves which is another part of the process that I have to keep an eye on. So we charge iron ore and coke in the top of the blast furnace. We have a hot blast coming in at the tweers as well as pulverised coal and oxygen. These meet in the middle in the stack and form a smelting reaction and that's where we get our two phases which are slag and iron tap from the furnace and sent on to steel making for further treatment. It's basically the heart of part of Blue Scope. Every six months we take the blast furnace offline for a planned maintenance outage. But our target time is generally around 48 hours. So in between the six monthly shutdowns, we, we plan for the shut. Um, obviously organise all our work, our contractors, spares, engineering. I uh, know number five is quite important. We're going to keep this place running as long as we can. We have a scientific technical aspect as well, but also um, people, a people side of things as well. well. I know that number five's coming close to the end of its life and um, obviously with the steel industry being boosted at the moment we need to restart number six blast furnace to be able to continue that movement forward. I guess the investment in six blast furnace is really good to see for someone working at five blast furnace. Well, I'll be sharing a lot of my knowledge that we've learned here at five, some of our optimization and improvement projects. Quite a few people on the core team have given us stories about what's better about number five, what's better about number six. And we're all looking forward to the new place, I think. Reducing our fugitive emissions and uh, looking at how we can capitalise on uh, using our waste heat to reduce our emissions into the environment. From a maintenance aspect, we're going to have a lot more room, easier to access and hopefully some of our tasks will be easier. And obviously all the new, new stuff that's coming in will be cool to see how that works and new equipment to work on. And it's also really good as well to see that um, we're committed to keeping manufacturing on Australian soil. As an engineer, everything that I've ever done has all come down to communication. We could be working on hydraulics one day, we could be working on mini pots, we could be working on the stock rod or a coke screen, the, the tasks are endless. My father used to work here as a refractory bricky, um, and I've always wanted to be a mechanical fitter. And one of my favourite things is actually to, to, to get the younger guys and train people up, teach someone something new. and Work as a team and, and we're across the board helping each other. I'll learn as much as I can, so whatever they throw at me, I'll take on. I like the fact that every day is a new challenge. I always feel like I'm always learning in this role. That's what keeps me coming back to work every day. You know, it's always about taking another big step towards zero harm, and that's something I'd really like, enjoy to be part of, is finding that next level of uh, improvements to make to get us, get us to a better place. If you're into it, come here because it's a good place to work and there's a lot of nice people. Uh, the people are really good. I like the pace of the environment. I uh, just like a different daily um, routine, it's never the same. I guess some of the things you, you don't really know fresh out of uni is just the scale of, of how big industry is and um, I guess the magnitude of, of gas, raw materials, uh, molten material that you're actually dealing with. Blue Scope's a very big place. Just because you drive past it, it doesn't look that big but I was shocked when I first started how big Blue Scope actually is.